So we noticed the other day while we were loading up all the charcuterie boards that we just built that we are also dangerously low on cutting boards because we only have remaining, count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 cutting boards remaining. That's it. So, Davis, let's get to building. So when we're running our businesses and we hit a bump in the road, like almost running out of our number one product, we always ask ourselves one question, why is this happening? Or put another way, how did we get here? Because I mean, we could just do the obvious thing, right? We could just build the cutting boards, put them back in stock and then pat ourselves on the back because we didn't run out. But we got dangerously close to running out of cutting boards. And that's a problem. How, how did we let that happen?
So to answer that question, let's ask an easier question. In order to not run out of boards, how many boards do we need? Well, the easiest way to answer that is just to build every board that we sell. But for a lot of reasons, that's not super practical. We don't build every single board that we sell as soon as we sell it. We practice what's called just-in-time inventory and production. Maybe we'll make a video about that one day. Hit the like button and let us know in the comments if you want to see something like that. But that's one of the many, many, many reasons that we don't build every single cutting board that we need as soon as we sell it. So the actual answer to how many boards do we need is about 50 boards a month. And as you guys know from watching our videos, that we build in batches of anywhere from 75 to 100 boards at a time. In the past, we've been able to go several months at a time without needing to build more boards. Unless our business grows really fast and we need more boards sooner. And that's exactly what happened this time. Running two businesses and being part-time in the Air Force, we really can't make time to go to the grocery store. I mean, we barely find enough time to eat most days. Well, I'll still make time to eat. But our time for shopping, cooking, meal prepping, and eating is very limited. And that's why we've had a ButcherBox subscription for over a year and a half now. ButcherBox is a meat subscription that shows up frozen right to your doorstep. We depend on it because it gives us the energy and clean meat that we need to fuel our busy lives without taking time out of our schedule. All ButcherBox meats are hormone and antibiotic free. I also need to tell you how good the meat tastes. When your food source is humanely raised and fed the right things, it just tastes so much better. We're never going back to buying meat at the grocery store. And believe it or not, our grocery bill has actually gone down because we don't blow our money eating out. All we buy from the grocery store is produce to complement the meat from ButcherBox. Anyway, I could sit here and talk about it all day. If you wanna try ButcherBox, hit the link in our description and you can try it for yourself. The search for high quality meat ends here. Thanks to ButcherBox for sponsoring this segment of the video. When we first moved into this space, we were only shipping about 15 to 20 boards a month. Now that's grown to about 50 boards a month. So the building department didn't know that the fulfillment department was sending out so many more boards. So to solve this inventory problem, we don't just need to build more boards. We need to put a system in place so that the fulfillment department can notify the building department so that they can build more boards before it's too late.
So we've got these 60 boards here and they're ready to go. I've got more lumber on the rack. I'll build the rest of the cutting boards we have lumber for next week, but this is just to get us out of hot water because I've got to leave to go fly with the hurricane hunters this week because hurricane season's coming up and I got to do some training flights and get ready and prepared. But let's do another price breakdown because you guys seem to really enjoy the one that we did for charcuterie boards a couple videos ago. So these 60 boards have already been sold at about $125 a piece. 60 boards times $125 is $7,500 of revenue. So the production cost on these boards, and that's, that's everything from the material, the lumber delivery, to the labor, to the shipping label on the cardboard box. Add all that up, these boards cost us about $55 to produce. So that's gonna be an expense of around $3,300 to produce all the boards. Additionally, we're gonna to have to start paying sales commission. And so when you take that 15% of sales commission off of the net sales price, that's gonna be another expense of around $1,125. Add all that together, and that means that we're gonna have a total profit of $3,075 just on these 60 boards here. I think I used about half the lumber that I have in this batch over here. And if you extrapolate that out, that means that we're gonna make about six grand on what, 120 boards? So a little bit lower profit margin than the charcuterie boards, but pretty stinking close. That's a big profit for some small items. This business isn't so boring now when you do the math. I mean, I hope one day that $6,000 profit sounds boring, but I don't think that's what other people mean when they say that our business is boring. So anyway, we don't have a solution quite yet for inventory tracking. That's our job for this week. Maybe we'll have a weekly inventory log with thresholds for when we notify the building department. I don't know what it looks like yet, but we're definitely open to your suggestions if you have any. Put them down in the comments. We read all of our comments, so don't think you're outsmarting anybody by sending an email or spamming our contact form for custom furniture inquiries. That's a great way to get your suggestion ignored. Anyways, thanks again for watching and thanks to ButcherBox for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the link in our description and sign up for ButcherBox yourself. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the play.